Welcome to another episode of the My Time at Sandrock series. And I know we need to turn in the crane, but I don't think we have the money for it yet. Let's go see. Buy a pass. So we would need 200 goals. Ooh, we had it. Nice. So we need to make sure we use up <laughs> what we have here. So let's install our crane. Look at us go. And Mian's got hers in. It was plight of her to wait for us to finish. <laughs> Everything's okay. Brave soul. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll trust the person who just showed up and has built one thing for this town. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I gotta tell you, those two lifts you made are running like a drain. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. Yeah, that would be good. If you didn't. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. But we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Probably. Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. <laughs> I think I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? Sure. All right, so here's the deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Ufala Salvage. They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. All right, then. Pass fees pay for folks like Ooh. you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep, and a scanner for finding relics easier. Also... Sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh, incidents. Oh. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins, and also to break up ores and valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Nice. Anything's fine as keepers down there. But, uh, I got a little proposition for you. Since the lift's been out of commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you want to sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. Oh, Just okay. something to consider. Well, you enjoy yourselves. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Woohoo! It's mining time! Alright. Uh... Take the crane into the ruins. Okay, uh, what's our inventory look like? rough <laughs> uh maybe i'll see what i can do about that first i would hate to get down there and have to return because we have no inventory space right now i'm just going to throw a bunch of stuff in this box um i have some wood scrap being processed so that hopefully when we return we can make um a new box we got a lot of clothes here should actually probably switch clothes. Uh, the stats are indeed better. So let's switch this guy. It will give us more stamina and health. And we can change our shorts. Nice. Best junk in town. Love it. Oh, it's nice to see him working. Alright, so let's take the mine shaft. Ooh. I kind of thought it would be a load screen. Didn't think we'd actually get to see it uh, working. Alright, let's head in then. Aha! So these are the floors. Alright, we shall enter at floor one. These are things we could potentially get. Aha. Uh -huh. So we can upgrade our scanner and the jetpack. Very cool. Um, and it looks like we can reset floors. Let's go ahead and enter. Oh man, look at our jetpack. Let's see what we can find down here. Uh, there was a message there. Lots of different items can be found in the ruins, but check the encyclopedia if you're having trouble finding what you need. Alright. I feel like getting a lot of copper ore is a good idea. There we go. This looks kind of like um, the original 
game and it went to mining. Oh. Hello. I don't remember there being enemies in here before. <laughs> Learn about Scrooge McMole. Aha, here we go. Uh, have a penchant for shiny things. They have been living in the ruins of the old world, collecting the shiniest objects they can get their little claws on. If you catch them, you can, you might be able to get a hold of their stash. Ooh. Okay, cool. So the scanner is F. Ooh, it looks much fancier than before. So there's something there. Aim directly at a relic lets you lock onto it. Okay, so let's try digging down to this guy. Oh, okay, cool. Looks like there's rooms. Uh huh. So I wonder what that is. I don't know how those are different. That looks bad. There might be traps in the ruins. Oh! Cool. I'm gonna try to get these guys first. Oh, I like that there's actually, like, items and stuff in here. It looks so cool. Before, the mining was fine, but it was kind of boring. It was just a lot of dirt and stuff. Are these things? Oh, power stones. I need a better tool. You can re quickly return to the entrance with your map if needed. That's really nice because then you don't have to be, like, constantly worried about if where you're going you'll be able to get back from. Let's see what we can uh, get going this way. So we found a new area. Aha! Is this leading us to the next floor? I don't know if I'm ready for the next to go to the next floor. Though we might be able to choose floors at the entrance. Let's see what else we can see in here. Not seeing anything else besides a lot of copper and power cells. Ooh, here's something. A light. Ooh, a trap. Let's trigger it. I think it helps clear stuff up for us. Here we go. We've gotten part of a golden bull headpiece. Ooh, I bet this is an old window. Man, if you wanted to be thorough and fully clean this out so you could see this building, I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I like that they're more contained so they could add more detail into it. Because before they were like huge areas, but there was like not much to see. So I like this much better. Almost everything you do takes stamina. I feel like I got all the messages right there. Stamina. So let's have some jerky. So it should give us a bit of stamina. Not a whole lot, but some. Better than nothing. The hard part is keeping a track of time. Oh, this is so cool. All right. This looks like it might be a door of sorts. Something. Oops, I ate a little bit of food, but I guess that's not the worst. Nope, just decorative, I guess. Ooh, a big old glass wall. This all looks so cool. I'm surprised it still has power. See if we can get this with what we have. Not enough stamina, but we got the thing we were looking for. So I think that will be it for this room. Or is this copper? Yeah. Okay. Ah, leave ruins. I was like, I don't, I don't see anything here. <laughs> this is so cool. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's head over and find Rocky. Hello. Hey, thanks, Builder. <laughs> I guess you found it all right down there. <laughs> this little bit will go a long way. There's something for your troubles. Like I said, top goals. Thank you much, Rocky. Let's check to see if we've got enough wood from this guy to make a new box. No. <laughs> can I? I don't imagine I can craft that material. No. Dang it. <laughs> oh. I think we have enough for this fish fossil. So that's something we can do something with. <laughs> I think we have to go to like the museum or something for that. 
Ah, good morning. X to walk. Walking wood. Ooh, neat. It looks like we have some mail. Go ahead and check that. Uh, let's go from the church. As you may recall, our old friend Mason will be leaving soon and we want to wish him happy trails. We're planning to have a real barn burner of a hoedown tomorrow at the Blue Moon stage at uh, 18 p.m. Don't miss it. Okay. And then Owen. I got a job for you, if you find it enticing. I need someone to help with an inventory resupply. Namely, we're out of sand carp. Mason used to sell me fish sometimes, since his workshop, now yours, is close to a couple of nice sand pits. So I thought you might be interested in well. You'll need a sand trap for this. I've attached the recipe for your work table in case you don't have one already. Cheers, Owen. Sure. I've been wondering about sand fishing for a bit. So we need some sticks. No, we don't. We have those. We need two bars and some thick rope. Thick rope. Perfect thick build. We got one of those. Copper bars are probably here. So we need two. Okay, that guy's working. Uh, is there any major scrap? No. Okay. I'm trying to keep one of everything in the chest because that means when I do the sort all, it'll pull any from in here. So that's why I want to keep one of everything if I can help it. So while that works, let's head into town. So tomorrow, did that get marked on the calendar? Ah, character. Calendar. Um, so it said tomorrow. I'm just gonna put a reminder there in case they don't remind me. <laughs> ah. Oh, you know, I don't much care for some of the language. That M word you're always calling me is rather offensive where I come from, Z. Huh? What, Mopstick? Where are you from, Mopperton? Ah. Why, you. We finished the lift for you. I demand you treat the president of the Commerce Guild with some respect. Huh? Ain't you who put that there? It was the new builders. I ain't seen you lift a finger. Huh? Certainly, in a role of leadership such as yourself, oafish as you may be, can understand the value of good manage management. Mm -hmm. Difference is, where me and my boys get a job done, I'm right down there with them. Speaking of which, be seeing ya, mopstick. Goodness, these guys have a <laughs> rocky relationship, it would seem. How's it going, Yen? So, you did finish that commission, huh? Well, what do you know? Looks like I'm an even better supervisor than I thought. <laughs> you didn't do anything, so no. <laughs> Let's check the store. Oh, there's better storage. <laughs> what does this cost? One. Ooh, I actually might be able to get it. I don't see anything worth purchasing quite like this, so let's let's get it. Yeah, because if I could get some better storage, that would be incredible. <laughs> oh my god, look at all of these. Okay, I'm not cool enough for this one. I actually am not entirely sure what things we can build, so I'm going to wait and go. Sorry, I have like the hiccups, but not quite. Um, I'm gonna go back and see what I'm capable of making before I want to grab something there. So I need more wood and then six copper bars. Can I add to this? Okay. Keep that guy going. Let's go hunt for some wood. Alright, went through one of the big piles of stuff there. Hopefully we got some useful stuff. I might head out and see one about doing the fossil and getting that repaired, but also the research center? Oh, our furnace has no fuel. We'll have to head back for that. Relic restoration. So we can do this guy. Oh, we could donate the fish. Maybe on here? Not my shirt. Let's put the fish fossil. Yep. I don't want it. Nice. Ooh, we get reputation for that. 
Hello. How's well met. It going? Sorry, I was thinking. What were you saying? Just saying hi. Let's go ahead and research. So we could get some smaller stuff. Because we have seven. It's hard because I don't really know what we'll need next for quests. Maybe I'll wait. See you later. I'd hate to buy the mach like one machine that we don't need. Go ahead and put Yeah, that's max. So that will be able to cook for quite some time. We do have a stuff for the sand trap now, I think. Basic fish sand fish trap. Nice. Okay. Oh, maybe we should play hey there. critters. Let's see who has the better critters. Round one. Oh, right. Um, let's go... Elephant. Haha! -ha. It's like, I mean, it has two wins, so it's a good starting card in my mind. I also don't have the cat anymore. So mouse might be a good one. Aha! I kind of thought we had only a certain number of cards, but I actually have repeats. Okay. Um, let's go fox. Ah! I am shocked I won that. Okay. Um, let's let's go elephant again. Aha! I got a perfect thing. That was quite lucky. What an exciting round. Let's play again soon. Let's go see about catching ourselves some sand carp. Wait. All right. Do we need to interact? Sandfish. Oh, maybe I don't need to have it in my hot bar if it will automatically do it. From the quick bar, you can see the quality of your sand trap plus the type and quantity of your bait. You can use the quick bar to switch tra trap or bait at any time. Bait can be found, gathered, made in your workshop, or just simply bought from stores. Some bait works better or worse for certain types of sand traps. Also, bait doesn't attract fish every single time. You might need to use more than one. When you select a sand fish trap, you'll get into aiming mode. Try to move the white aiming circle over a fish. If you see if the fish light up, that's your best chance to go for a fish. The more advanced sand traps you have, the more likely you are to catch a fish. You might even catch more than one at the same time. Each time you catch a fish, you'll see info pop up on the left. You can open your basket to see what fish you've caught already and keep an eye on the clock. You will be too tired to sand fish starting at 2 a.m. Okay. So we're in aiming mode. We've got some... We have at least the worms. So check basket, change camera. Oh, I see. Oi! Oh-ho! Alright. I see. Can we try to catch this guy? Dang it. So I saw what it meant by the light up. Let's get it. Aha! Okay. Just getting them while they're eating is pretty much the best way to catch them. Alright, one more sandworm. Let's aim for that. Let's see if we get it. It didn't have, yeah. For some reason it never had the blue light. I've got two fish here. Wait, I think that means we have three. Oh, we got four. I'm gonna keep trying. I was gonna say while there was bait out, but I don't think they're gonna come out anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and exit that. So we caught four carp. That's exciting. So yeah, I don't think I actually need that in the inventory. I just need to have it, which is quite nice. Hey, you really came through. You're a lifesaver. 
I'll be posting more supply requests on the commission board in the future, so watch for those. Okay. Oh, and a heads up. If you catch any more sandfish in the future, you can always give some to Elsie. She loves sandfishing. I'm sure she'd enjoy someone to share a hobby with. Ooh, he kicked us up a dish. I think he was just telling us that we could do it. Because <laughs> he certainly didn't get more fish than he gave away there. <laughs> but I appreciate the food. Yay, I got the stuff. Now I have a proper storage. <laughs> Drop a large store storage box over a smaller one to replace it. All supplied stuff will go inside it. Oh man. Okay. Uh, replace. So now I have one mini box <laughs> and everything in it. That's incredible. We do have the option to make glass. I wonder, there's a good chance we go, can't go into the commission. Let's ch double check. No, we can. So if you'll just move a few decimeters to your left, I think you'll find the pathway to the commission board to have become quite clear, allowing a way for me to snag a commission. <laughs> ha, no deal. You can't fool me with your mind games, Mian. Okay, I give up. Look at yourself. How long has it been since you finished that big elevator thing? And you're already back in here, at it again. You need to admit that you have a problem, Mian. You're a workaholic. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I didn't have anything going on today. What else would I do if I didn't pick up a commission? A whole heck of a lot else. I'ma tell ya. <laughs> oh shucks, another one of you. All right, that's it. This is an intervention. I'm taking the two of you out to do something fun. No commissions allowed. Um, I guess. It wouldn't kill me to take one day off. And I am pretty tired. Hey there, I guess we're going somewhere? Wanna join us? Of course you're joining us. As I was saying, what you two need is to relax. And what better way to relax than a rigorous and debilitating day of mountain climbing and yakmel wrangling? I need to end this episode. This is not convenient. I was just gonna grab the glass commission. Uh, hey, Elle. That does sound really relaxing, but I stubbed my toe this morning. Better stay out the mountains for today. <laughs> so, why don't we just stop into the Golden Goose Gaming Center for a little bit instead? Wh huh? G games? Oh, but that's kid stuff. Cool, mature adult type folk like us spend our leisure time running free on the wild frontier and. <laughs> oh, fun. I guess if y'all really want to, we can go to the game center. But I'm not playing any y'all's kid games, all right? I'm just there to keep you company and make sure you don't relapse. Woohoo! Now let's hurry on over. We'll see you there. Uh, sounds Yeehaw! good. <laughs> uh, is this time sensitive? We will. Uh... Oh, there it is. Time sensitive. It has six hours left. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and, <laughs> while she's not looking, grab that. Um, but. I think I'm going to end this episode here and then I'll probably record just that little bit of that whatever happens here for the next episode. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We ended up setting up our crane and getting to go down into the ruins and we learned to sandfish. It was a very busy episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.